Welcome back guys, so um, we have completed our water cooled build, we've got our dual 3090s all water blocked up and everything, um, and I think it's about time we got into benchmarking this thing. Right guys, so we've done the build, it's been running for say a couple of months now um, and I've got a couple of overclocks on it. Um, thankfully we've got our um, Dark Hero motherboard so with that we've got the ability to do dynamic overclocking. Um, so what that means is previously on other AMD motherboards um, if you set an all core boost um, then it would sort of lose out on the precision uh, boost overclock. So, you know, that, that would like bump it up to say 4.9 gigahertz or something with this uh, 5950X. Um, but with the dynamic overclocking, I can set both all core and also set precision boost overclock to uh, then do some extra bits when we're running just games and things like that. So that we've got sort of a mix of all core performance for when we're running our models and also have our gaming performance and also for streaming as well just to make sure everything's got all of it running properly. Um, so in terms of the build, it's it's overclocked to my ability. I mean I'm not I'm not someone who overclocks a lot. This is probably the what the second time um, and I had trouble last time in the uh, build. Um, but we're going to do a bit of Cinebench, uh, 3D Mark, um, and do the same games that we did in the original benchmarking video. Um, so if you haven't seen that, I'll pop the uh, the link up there so that you can see the rest of the videos for this um, whole deep learning build series. Um, and that goes all the way back to um, our original build um, and the sort of the painful water cooling journey, um, like in the last video. Um, but without further ado, let's get into those benchmarks.
Right, so, I mean, as you can see, the benchmarks for, say, 3D Mark are wildly different, but that is because we now have the second 3090 in the build. So, you know, it's, it's expected to be a lot bigger. Um, and then as well, in terms of that performance, we're, we're not sort of at the high end of what's on online with 3D Mark. We're sort of in the middle, um, which, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't need massive amounts of performance. You know, I don't need to be on that top five leaderboard. Um, obviously, we could probably try. Um, I mean, the next build that I want to do um, is the server based um, sort of air conditioned option, um, because I mean, that's that that would be something really cool to do. I mean, I'm not going to do liquid nitrogen because I mean, that's just for me, it's pointless. There's, there's no point in it. it. It's not like something that can keep running, whereas the air conditioning option could keep running for a while. Um, but I mean, in terms of some of the games, obviously some games are not optimized for sort of heavy like SLI builds and things like that. So we're not really getting a massive uplift in terms of the performance there. Um, and, you know, I snuck in Anarchy Online again because we did it in the last one, you know. I, I, still, I, I still have a soft spot for that game. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> we still got the minimum frame of like one frame per second in that, that ICC place. Um, I just had to test it out, so it sort of see if it, if it made any difference. Um, but I mean, Battlefield 5 ran all right. Um, I've been running Battlefield 2042. I didn't include that on the benchmarks um, just because it was sort of, it's, it's still not quite stable. I mean, it, it crashes every so often. So, and I didn't really get to compare that to the previous build. Um, so, you know, it's, it's it, we still get above 60 frames per second on ultra and everything, you know. I'm not I'm not a cont competitive player, so I don't really bring the settings down for, for more responsiveness and the more frames, really. So th th I'm fine with that. Um, and as well, what, what I will do is, um, in a couple of other videos, show some VR footage as well, because we've got, I mean, we've got a Quest 2, so we'll just hook that up. Um, so yeah, I mean, thanks thanks for watching, guys. I mean, if you like the video, pop us a like, and you know, if you're not subscribed already, do do uh, click the subscribe button and click that bell notification. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.